Hi, it's Tita Koala here and today I'll share a simple way to sew shorts for your doll. We'll keep it basic so we're making it without pockets and without belt loops and we're doing a side zipper design. Sounds good? Let's begin. First, sew the darts for the back panels. Take the front panels and attach them by making a mock zipper fly. zipper fly just like this one right here I've linked the video where this yellow shorts first made an appearance if you're interested basically sew a letter J on the flap now we are folding the hem outward so we want the folds to be visible on the right face of the fabric to create a cuffed hem. Do this using wide stitches and don't lock stitch because we are removing the stitches later on. Go ahead and do this for all four panels. It's up to you where you want to place the zipper but as for me it's on the right hip. I have marked the front panel and the back panel pieces which will be joined by this side zipper. So remember to put extra seam allowance on these two pieces when you're preparing and cutting your fabric. Now open and flatten the seams and mark where you want your zipper to start and end. I recently got this water soluble double sided tape so I'm trying it out. You can use pins or even do basting stitch for this step. The important thing is to lay the zipper teeth or chain right in the middle so that it aligns with the seam.
attaching a letter U here. Note that this is plastic zipper, so if you are using metal zipper, then of course you can't sew over the metal part. Now change your regular foot with a zipper foot. If you don't have one, it's fine as long as you try and stitch close to the zipper teeth. Now at this point, get your seam ripper and open up the parts where either side of the zipper tapes are secure. I only tape this on, then I can lift the zipper or peel it away to access the zipper pull. You can also try moving it from the back by dragging the slider. So the idea is to move the zipper pull and slider down and away from the top part so that we can continue sewing without obstruction. Now we have stitches all the way up to the waist. Let's rip that open to let the zipper run freely. Looking pretty good so far. This part we can just hand baste to hide the flaps. You can also trim away the seam allowance so that it's hidden underneath the zipper tape. Okay, three panels are now joined together. Let's get the fourth and last piece and sew that in via the crotch. Mind you, just the reverse J part here. Do not sew down to the hem.
With the back done, now we tackle the front part, the tiny bit here which we left out earlier when we did the mock zipper fly. Now let's close up the crotch by sewing these from end to end. There we have it, and now we can close up this side. There we are. Let's zip it open and turn it right side out. Almost done. Now get the fabric piece for the waistband and pin it from one end of the zipper all the way around. Oh and remember to fold the edge to give it a clean finish. Flip the panel up and over, then tuck it in on the wrong face, secure it with pins and what we're gonna do is stitch in the ditch on the right face, yes, meaning the visible part of the shorts. This is what stitching in the ditch looks like, pretty clean by my standards, which isn't saying much. 
the stitches on the cuffed hem and we're actually done. So to recap, after doing the darts and the cuffs, we attached the front right and left pieces together via the mock zipper fly at the center. Then we attach those with the third piece, the back right panel via the side zipper. We then attach the fourth and last piece, the back left panel, and then we finish it up by sewing together the left leg as well as closing up the crotch. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and share so that this auntie can connect with her people. I'm no expert by any means and I am also just slowly building my toolkit and I thought I'd share some techniques I learned along the way. And here's my doll Akahana's IG handle if you'd like to follow her. You can also tag her or tag me if you want to share your sewing projects. If you want to see how I made this, or this, please hit subscribe so you won't miss those when they come out. If you're watching this at a later time, check the description below and the links to those videos will likely be there. This has been Dita Koala. I'm right around the corner. Bye for now.